Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, We're looking at a beautiful day. We're going to get to 70. We're going to have sunshine. It's another big Wednesday night at Dublin Deck with Yankee Rebel on stage. Come hungry, full menu, full kitchen, drink specials, concert tickets. I mean... Do you greet people at the door? Hi, I'm Fathead. Hi, nice of you to come. I'm Fathead. Actually, what we do... So, you've seen video, and you've been there, and you kind of know the layout. I don't know if you've been there since they fully redid the back the back area, but what now we are, the, the huge wheel of prizes that Dublin Deck purchased that we use on Wednesday night, they have it in the back. That is a place that Mark from Dublin Deck calls Shangri-La, and it's got the fire pits and the other bar and sometimes a cigar guy and the uh, the cornhole games, right? So we're in the back, so people know when they show up to Dublin Deck, they come, uh, if they want to win the, the tickets, they come to the back, and uh, and they spin the wheel. That's where I am, Candy. Gotcha. In, uh, in that area. Um, and then I will hop on stage and introduce the you band. Will. And, yeah, gotcha. It's me, Fathead. Hello, world. Yes, yes, I'll keep the applause to a minimum, please. Yes, yes, please. D- don't. Uh, I can you, only imagine. You're going to embarrass me. Thank Good. you. Thank you. I Thank feel you like very it. Much. Yeah, we have, a, we have a good time out there in another great night tonight uh also uh i have to mention uh we still have as we head into june here we have our three huge country shows on sale at ticketmaster.com uh we have darius rucker on august 5th at catholic health amphitheater at bald hill russell dickerson with thompson square and ian flanagan that's september 1 labor day weekend and cody johnson chris jansen and Drew Parker, Salute to Heroes, September 22nd. Three monstrous country shows, Candy, and really excited about it. Uh, yes. Tic- yeah, Ticketmaster.com. And I also, you know, our uh, our Big Hits 98.1 station, we are now 24 days away from Chicago. Wow, I forgot all about that for a second. I can't wait to see That's going to be awesome, really awesome. Oh my God! I mean, just this—I've seen. You're just so a man that's all about the world. Taylor Swift, Chicago, you Candy, got your Dublin Deck. You got your barbecue, Tom. I am still yes. living off the high of uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I saw people talking about it on uh, one of the entertainment shows. I mean, there's. There's nobody like her. Let's just what? sum it that way. Sum it up that way. And next go round, if you don't give me a ticket, say goodbye to the world, my friend. Now I'm not okay. I listen. We have a couple of years to plan that. I'm sure. Now I have to. I have to tell you that I have been thinking about what this woman is gonna do for an encore two, three years from now. Whenever she decides to. You know Taurian. what I'd like to see her do, in all honesty? Yeah. I'd like to see her happily married, having a baby, out of the public eye. You know, it's almost, it, this tour is so big and so incredible, and she features all her albums and, and set changes and all this stuff. I Like, the only thing that could top this is her having a baby. Exactly. Honestly. Exactly. And then she releases an album called Baby and a Tour. Oh, Unbelievable. Baby. Now you've got it. We <laughs> just mean, planned her life. Uh, and uh, I say this uh, with all sincerity. Um, I, I, lo- I have to preface this. I love going to shows. We have tons of concerts coming up. We've mentioned already Chicago, Darius Rucker, Russell Dickerson, Cody Johnson. There's Jones Beach. There's Belmont. There's all these places. I can't wait. I can't wait to see them. But, Candy, if somebody told me, that Taylor Swift show was the last show I'm allowing you to go see. It is satisfied. Like, I'm satisfied. It, the show was that good that I am satisfied. I'm so glad you're satisfied. It it's was, what I live it, for. It, <laughs> you brought her up and you I got did. me fired up. You know, up. Um, my girlfriend, Yvonne, her daughter, Daniela, went with some of her girlfriends. Like I told her, she's 25. She went Sunday night. 
she took the most beautiful picture of Taylor with the jumbotron and Taylor on the stage with the sun setting. It was spectacular. Did you see the sunset can like that? S- yeah, it was gorgeous, but can you Unbelievable. send it Unbelievable. I believe, I don't know, it's on Instagram. I don't know if I'm capable of these things. Oh, my God. You know, you are a vibrant young woman, Candy. <laughs> you should be able to let me know how to find a picture that is so fantastic. She yeah. didn't send it to you? She didn't text it to you? It no. was in the her Instagram, which I follow. Okay. Uh, but beautiful. What a, oh, what a picture. All right, well, Gorgeous a, sun setting. A, Taylor Swift right there. It was beautiful. When we take a break, I want to. I want the details. I want to see that picture. Don't prod at me this morning. Yeah, by the way, if you're just joining us, Candy got pulled over by a cop this morning, spilled coffee on her brand new white jeans. It's been quite a day already. Quite a day already. Yeah. Um, I did see the sunset, and the weather was so perfect, as you know, this weekend. Yeah, spectacular. It was, it was absolutely unbelievable, although I did not mention this to you. The woman behind me, there were two women behind me, and they were probably, I'm just guessing, they were in their 50s, okay? They're behind me partying, taking video, singing, and I'm kind of with one eye keeping an eye on them because I know what's going to happen. At some point during the evening, they're going to spill one of those drinks that's in their hand. I know it because they're acting too casual and crazy, right? Oh, boy. Candy, wouldn't you know it? (laughs) The woman right behind me spills Mm. her drink. It goes down my back. I I can't believe I didn't I didn't know this. This is a fantastic story. You know, anything to make you feel better about yourself. Thank you. This really is cheering me up. I can't believe I forgot to tell you this story. The woman spills her drink. I feel it go down my thing, (laughs) off my back. It hits the seat. It's all over the seat. It hits Elijah right (laughs) right next to me. Um, So she doesn't even realize. This is how, you know, out there she was. That's how much fun they were having. Yeah, fun. Let's put that in quotes, fun. What kind of a drink was it? Ah, so. I turn around. This is like a couple seconds later because I felt like I didn't just jolt and turn around. I did the slow turnaround like, oh, my God, what did you just do? I turn turn around. She's not even looking at me. And then she finally looks at me. She goes, oh, did that hit you? And (laughs) Candy, I swear, I swear this is what I said. I said. Oh, yeah, it hit me just like that. Right. With that tone. So she runs to get napkins to help me clean up and wipe the seat. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I was I was so angry for that little period of time. Um, And I asked her what was in it. She claims it was like club soda, you know, like. Let's, probably club soda with a little alcohol. There was definitely alcohol in it. How do I you know? It, you smelled the alcohol? It was all over me. Ah. Um, so I thought it was beer. She says it wasn't beer. That She says it was club soda with some alcohol or something. Anyway. Yeah, it's probably vodka. Um, yeah, I was, for, for a good portion of... Of uh, of uh, a good fifteen minutes there, I took you me were a stewing in your misery. I was stewing. It was. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I how can't do you think it. I feel in my new white jeans, looking <laughs> good, feeling great? And I spill a cup of coffee on you. You know, that is a tough one because they are new, they are white, and you could definitely have a stain that won't come out. It's possible. Okay, you had to say that, right? Oh, it's coming out. You know why? Because you were too happy that someone spilled a drink on me. <laughs> too happy. And by the way, Dana, uh, she she prognosticated this whole thing for days leading up to the show. When I tell you days, maybe a week leading up to the show, every day she'd be like, oh, my God, I was on TikTok and I see people at uh, Taylor Swift are getting thrown up on and getting drinks spilled on them. And 
I, I'm like, what do you mean getting thrown up on, right? She put Can you out- imagine if it wasn't a spilled drink and it was vomit? <laughs> she she was. I can it- only imagine. <laughs> you would have. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would have done. I see you standing up and screaming at the top of your lungs for help. I can Dana honestly... and the kids running around you going, what? Ha- oh, oh, I, please, security coming. I see a whole thing. Oh, my goodness. Thank heaven that didn't happen. Okay, Dana and the kids wouldn't have done anything. They wouldn't want to interrupt <laughs> their show. And so this was put out into the universe days ahead of time. And then, of course, all I'm thinking about is this woman behind me is going to spill this drink. And wouldn't you know it, bam, spills the drink. Well, it's the better rest. than the alternative. So yeah, count your yeah. blessings. Oh, man. But we had a we had a great time. Anyway, thank you, you for reminding me of that. Yeah, that you know? was a good one. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, anything to make you feel better. All right. I do feel a little better now. That's enough for that. Uh, back to your misery. Less than yes. 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood up about... 8, 12 or so. Got a beautiful day. 70, sunshine, Dublin, deck, Wednesday. Gorgeous. The music starts at 6. The food, the drink, concert tickets, the wheel of prizes, all tonight in Patchogue. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.